Hi everyone, it's Eva Pietrzak here from Abundant Results Coaching and today I'd love to share with you one of the universal laws that is very very helpful to help you skyrocket your sales. You may be familiar with law of attraction and maybe some other laws but we also have very helpful universal laws around selling. So first things first, I want to ask you a question. Do you ever have this moment where you have this prospect that you really hoped to enroll uh, as a client? You know, you were certain that they will jump on board and then they didn't. And maybe you are sulking for half a day or a day, analyzing in your head, what did you do wrong or what did you miss? What did you not do? What did you not ask? And you're kind of like on a roll with beating yourself up. If you ever have that, I can totally, totally resonate. So this is how I was when I started my coaching business. And the law that I'm going to share with you helped me massively, massively. So what does law, what is that law? It's law of cause and effect. Uh, around selling and it states that in order for us to receive the effect of X amount of sales per month or per week, we have certain causes that we want to focus on. And when we focus on these causes, the effect will take care of itself. So let's suppose you want to enroll five clients a month. And what you want to do is ask yourself, okay, what are the causes that create uh, five sales a month and we are working with the universe. So first things first, we want to believe, step one, you want to believe that you've enrolled five clients this month. So how can you uh, convince your subconscious mind to believe that you enrolled five clients this month? Because your belief gives you ideas and your belief attracts people, opportunities, and so on. So that's number one. Number two, we want to be in the energy of service, not in the energy of getting. And we want to give universe plenty of prospects to work with so that we can be non-attached to who enrolls and when they enroll. And this part I think most people miss, and this is why we get attached to a specific person not enrolling and we sulk and all of that. So think about it this way. Let's say if you want to enroll five clients this month, maybe you need to have 20 sales conversation. Depending how what your conversion rate is, you want to give plenty of prospects to the universe to give you five sales. And when you give plenty of uh, prospects for the universe to have sales, you actually have plenty sales conversations. What happens is it's easier to be in the energy. I want to help you versus I want to, I need to make a sale. So I call it energy of serving versus energy of getting the energy of getting. Look, it's very human and it happens when we have a very small amount of prospects. And it also happens when maybe we have some deadline to uh, achieve or we need the money very badly. So then we are in the energy of I need to enroll you as a client. Otherwise, something else is going to happen. And the prospect feels that energy. They feel there is a glitch in your energy. Um, they don't know why the glitch is, but they feel there is a glitch. So here you are telling them I can help you and I really feel I can help you. But at the back of your head, you are you need to enroll them and that energy projects as you just need to you just want to make a sale. So they feel a glitch and they don't enroll. So when you have plenty of prospects, it's much easier to be in the energy of service versus getting. And also it's much easier to be non attached. And what I mean by non attached when we create results and we work with our mindset and we work with universal laws, we want to be flexible in terms of who is the person that's going to enroll this month. So yes, we do our best to enroll every person that we speak to, but we know that if it's not this person, then it's going to be another because we believe that there is five enrollments this month and we have plenty of prospects to work with. So we know universe will give us five. Now, we are not attached to that outcome. So even if we enroll two, we are superheroes and we're celebrating and next month it's going to be five. 
but we want to enroll those five people, right? And we're not attached to who enrolls, so we do our best to enroll every person, but if that person is a no or that person is a no, we don't get into the sulk mode <laughs> because we know there's plenty more people to work with and we know that that specific person, maybe they were not the right fit or maybe they will enroll in next month or two. Maybe when I have better, better ideas, I can go back and enroll them again or maybe they will change their mind and they will come back in a month or two. And you're also not attached to time. So what I mean by that is, yes, we would always love to enroll the client immediately. But, you know, sometimes if we cannot help them make a decision immediately, we know that we can enroll them in a month or in a two months and we can follow up or we trust that they will come back if they are the right fit. So th the law of cause and effect, number one, you believe that you enroll these five clients, whatever your goal is for the month, whether it's for the month or for the week, you uh, are in the energy of service uh, versus energy of I need to make a sale or energy of getting, and you are non-attached to the who and the time, so you provide universe with plenty of prospects. And the third part of law of cause and effect, you manage your emotional state. So when we have negative emotional state and the negative emotional state may happen because, you know, that person didn't enroll or maybe we look at our present results and we feel controlled emotionally by present results instead of what we want to achieve. Or maybe we had argument with our spouse or we didn't sleep well. So when we have ne negative emotional state, we don't really feel like taking actions and it blocks us from receiving sales and making these fantastic sales conversations. So we want to really make sure that we have a positive emotional state like peace, calmness, hopefulness, gratitude, joy, um, eagerness to serve. These are positive emotional states and they really help you feel eager to take actions and also enroll clients. Sometimes when we have negative emotional states like fear or worry, um, you know, the persistent on or go ongoing state of fear will attract more reasons to be afraid because universe matches our emotions. So I hope you have found this valuable. This has helped me so much because when I started, you know, I just wanted to help everybody. And when I didn't enroll a client, I was beating myself up. I felt like I did something wrong or I didn't study enough or I didn't do enough or I, I should have known better. And now I'm totally relaxed. If the client doesn't enroll, no problem. Maybe it's not the person that I should have helped. Maybe I'm going to go and help a few more people or maybe it's not the time and they will come back next month or two months or I will reach out when I have some ideas how to help them that are new in next month or two, but I'm still fulfilling my enrollment goals. So hope this supports you and you will find it useful when it comes to creating much higher uh, sales results in a much better emotional uh, state of calmness and confidence and actually really having good time enrolling clients. Have a beautiful day and enjoy implementing.